Well, hello everyone and welcome to the back garden yard. And in today's video, we're going to look at these pepper plants. And these pepper plants, I was out here three weeks ago, tying them up, clean picking them, and preparing a video to show you how you could have a very nice August, September harvest of peppers if you just take care of your plants and clean pick them back at the 1st of August. So that's what I did. And before we look at these, we're gonna look at some uh, more video that I took back then of tying them up and clean picking them. Then I'm gonna turn the camera back on in real time today, August the 23rd, and we'll take a look at what has happened to these plants. So now we're going to look at these peppers and this pepper plant here is already almost neck high, it's, it's chest high and it's just full of blooms and uh, fertilized it before this last rain so it is just doing fantastic and then we can look down the pepper row. And let's do that. And these are the bell peppers. Right here are the bell peppers. And the bell peppers are doing fantastic also. What I did was I clean picked them. I clean picked every pepper off of the first two rows here. Now this is the Asian peppers. And the Asian peppers looked like this before I clean picked them. Just loaded with little peppers. But I'm letting this row, I'm letting this row go ahead and mature. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, I'm gonna have to take these out for the fall garden. And then I've got another row that was full like this and you notice there's very few blooms on these and so I clean picked them so that they would uh, bloom again and make another crop so I can go ahead and harvest a lot of these peppers anytime I want to and then towards the first of September I'm going to literally take those plants out and the reason this plant is doing so well we clean picked it earlier and now it has come back out and just blooming like crazy so it's going to make a bunch more peppers and we'll be eating these peppers right on into the time that I picked the uh, that I picked the patch still got a couple that have come back on it so what I need to do of course is I'm gonna have to run a wire from the top of this pole through all these plants to keep them from falling over in the uh, in the thunderstorms that we're having. And I'm gonna do. I've already done that, and you can see you can see the lower the lower wire that I have put on these. There it is, and that's what's kept them so nice during the thunderstorms. But they're so tall now they'll fall over. And the same way with this row and the same way with the bell peppers so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay out some string some twine and I'm going to run it through and I'm going to I'm going to run it right through the middle of these and protect them from the, the storms that we're having so that they won't fall over. Now, what happened when I clean picked them was it has stimulated them into blooming again. You can see all the buds here, all the buds. There's one little pepper. And that's what the whole idea of clean picking them was, to get them off, and that way then, I've got one more nice little crop. It won't be a nice little crop, it'll be a nice big crop. Will come through and so there's the top of this so i'm gonna run a string from here 
down to here and then on down and so let's get with it and then I'll run this and see if I can film it so what has happened as I was uh, setting up to film this is another storm front has come rolling in and it looks like it may start pouring rain again so I'm gonna try to do this really fast so here's my second string and I'm running it through the plants back here and there it is and I'm running it this way and then I'm going to come out here and tie it actually I'm not going to tie it I'm going to just wrap it around several times nice and tight through the middle of this plant and then I'm going to run it on down Okay, so now we've got the double tie on these peppers and they should be ready. Uh, looks like it's just in time for this storm that's coming in. Uh, make sure they don't blow over. This one's still single tied, but it's when it grows on up to here if it does and it'll be ready okay so we're back August the 23rd in real time and we're looking at these peppers that you were seeing me tie up here's the the second row and here's the first row of string and notice that they've grown up through here and if the wind blows they can't fall over because they have been tied up now what happened was uh, we needed some peppers we were eating peppers and making dishes with peppers so we picked most of these peppers on this one even though we were going to leave these and look how it has grown up and bloomed and making even yet another crop even though this was the row that i was wanting to take out because this is the area here that i'm going to be planting the uh fall winter garden of lettuce and greens and stuff like that so i really wasn't uh, i'm really wanting to take this row right here out the first row so i was letting these mature you'll notice on the plants that i am letting mature they have quit blooming and the peppers are turning red which is what they always do so that's the reason that I clean picked this row over here and I clean picked it and it bloomed out and now it has put on another whole crop of peppers over here and of course we're still picking these peppers so there's not as many on here as I would like to have but it's going to make plenty more and then we'll go over here and look at the bell peppers now these are the orange bell peppers let's see if i can get over here and get a good here we go get a good angle on these so you'll notice this is one that's coming here's a whole group of them that are coming and this plant here has got one and why are orange bell peppers green i said so I'm calling this an orange bell pepper, but it's very green, but when it matures, it will turn orange. And so really soon I'm going to be leaving all these and letting them turn their natural orange color. And you can see this one is starting to turn a little bit. And there's one down here 
that has turned its orange color and uh, so that's why I call these orange bell peppers because they're definitely orange bell peppers now these are the regular bell peppers here and they will uh, turn red so in the store when you see the red bell peppers they were the green ones the regular ones and they turn red just like these over here turn red when they're ripe and the orange ones turn orange and of course you can uh, pay extra and get yellow bell peppers they were green and then they turn yellow when they mature so this is what has happened i've got a huge crop of bell peppers and regular peppers coming on here now because of the way that i tied these up fertilized them and clean picked them back uh three weeks ago and that's really all i wanted to show you uh if you like content like this please like and subscribe and i've got a whole lot more content coming uh we've got the fall garden to plant and take care of we've got all those chestnuts to pick we've got persimmons to pick we've still got okra to pick we've got seeds to collect there's so much content still coming you don't want to miss any of that so please like please subscribe and hit that notification button and you'll know it as soon as i release a new video thank you for watching